Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an app for the iPad for you called iBrainstormer. This is a great mind mapping application that we can use uh, to create different mind maps and organize our thoughts and things like that. So you can see here, once we open it up, it's going to show us our local files, which are our different mind maps. And we can either select one, and it'll open up for us and get rid of the menu. We can view them, or we can create new ones. All we have to do is double tap to create a new node. So if we want to create one off of another one, all we have to do is select that first one, and then double tap, and it's going to create one off of it. And you can see it's going to show us fill text. All we have to do is tap it and delete that and do it however we want. Maybe we're going to uh, come in here and make a new one just like that and then we're going to create one off of that even and uh, really be sure to mind map as well as we can so just like that and make sure that we have those on there now what we can do is zoom in and out of these we can also uh, print these we can export as a PDF to Dropbox if we have our Dropbox link we can even just save it uh, to our photos or email it to somebody uh, so that we can be sure that they are all up to date with our mind maps it'd be great for group projects and things like that we always have an undo and a redo option up here so if we wanted to undo you can see we got rid of that last node we can cut and paste nodes as well or we can completely delete uh, one if we want. We can come up here into our mind maps. We can view uh, any files in our Dropbox if we'd like to uh, so that we can uh, have those in there. Uh, we can also come in here and we can upload these to our Dropbox just by pressing the uh, little upload cloud button that's going to do that. There's also this neat bump feature. If we bump two devices together that have this application, it's actually going to share the mind map f with us and, and with them. So if we have any like that, we could easily do that. So we just have have our different bump uh, items and it is going to allow us to do that so we're just going to press our bump button here and all we have to do is uh, bump these together and it is going to allow them to do it so it's going to be really uh, easy for us to be able to do uh, just like that so you see this one other device we have over here is connecting and it'll uh, be able to do that for us we can also get into our help files over here uh, and learn a little bit more about how to use this application uh, and how to use our Dropbox and our bump we can delete one it'll show us any troubleshooting or we can view any frequently asked questions or even search some questions so obviously the more that we use this application the more we're going to be familiar with it the more information uh, and data we are going to be able to have in it and really organize our thoughts and things like that we can also come in here onto each of these uh, different nodes and we can press this edit button. We can change the color of it if we'd like to, so maybe that's the color that we wanted to select. Uh, we can also uh, add in images from photos if we'd like to, so if we wanted to come in here and maybe just add in one of these pictures and we can also uh, edit it a little bit more. We can have a start date and an end date if maybe it has a due date or something like that and add in some notes uh, right here just like that and hide that keyboard so when we're done you can see it's actually going to uh, have a lot of information in it so once again this application is available for the iPad it is called iBrainstormer if you like it be sure to pick it up in the App Store